Legacy. Oh, I have Hogwarts Legacy. And I still think the game is way louder than me. But I'll have to adjust it after. After, after. Greeting, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and I'm going to start a Let's Play series for Hogwarts Legacy. I was doing a playthrough where I just played no commentary and all that. And I have a couple other characters you can see. I'm going to need a fourth one to be able to get all the achievements anyways. And I'm really enjoying this game, so I, I feel it deserves a Let's Play. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, the, the fourth character, you need... The reason why you need four characters is you need to get each one of these to a certain spot in the game. I don't know what that is because I haven't reached there yet. I really have only done the tutorial areas. I know it looks bad. I got a level 11, but I was just grabbing everything and getting experience from everything. So that's what this character is. And this one I was just playing through naturally and recording it. But with this next character, i just going to... Try to play uh, and have fun and do all that kind of stuff. And this will be the main character. I will make sure that I get further ahead with this character than any of the other ones. And we will <clears throat> do it that way. The other ones I will follow after, after this one. Uh, what kind of hair do I want to have? I did start a Weasley on one of the characters, but that was mainly just to see if when I talked to the Weasley in the Gryffindor house, if, if there would be any kind of different um, dialogue, but there wasn't. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why I have that one. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and play that one through because I need that, the Gryffindor house, but it's not going to be my main focus. I really don't know what kind of hairstyle I want. Mm, guess we'll go with that. Hair color. Uh, should we just go black? That's not black. Is black the next one over? Black. It's got... Yeah. We'll go black. And over here... Complexion. Get rid of those freckles. And... Give them a little... Flavor. Do I want that eye? Or the left eye? Well, if I go left eye, you guys are all going to accuse me of Illuminati. And I don't want that. So, we'll go... Right eye. And... Then we'll... Unibrow? No, we won't go unibrow. That'd be too much. And just go with that. And we'll go normal. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Do we want to go high pitch? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That is really high pitch. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. So is this the same actor and they just changed the pitch on every a single A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I kind of think that's what they I did. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Oh, that's too modulated. We'll go a with few cobwebs and some dust. And we'll call us... You know what we're going to call ourselves. Nothing to be concerned about. Nothing to be concerned about. Everything to be concerned about. What are you talking about? And we're going to be a wizard. Hmm. wonder why I was doing that. And start our journey. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the point that I knew this game was going to be... It appears we are almost ready to depart. Uh, a banger was... It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. In. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. 
Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term. This is the first time I'm playing oh. this with headphones on. That <laughs> sound are. reverberating George. left to right was pretty Glad nice. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I talk about his laugh, but my laugh's not much better, so can't really say much about it. Entertaining, at least. His laugh is entertaining. That owl is just chilling. And who is this chap? Do we run into him when we go to the town not too far in? That might be that guy, I don't know. Avalanche. Now everybody thinks that this game, uh, well, it's kind of loud, isn't it? I mean, I'm going to have to adjust that. As soon as I can. I don't think I can do it here. I thought I turned down the music, but maybe not. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. See, it's little things like that. Yes, sir. If you have I'm starting school as a fifth year. This, when you're outside oh, extraordinary. The cab, it is indeed. It sounds None of like the faculty has the ever heard of anyone being inside, admitted to Hogwarts so late. It sounds like you're in Nor one, have I. Just a little bit of an Of course, really as nice the stretch. other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Oh, there's a glow, all right. Merlin's mm. beard! H how did you- Wait! We do Hang on! Well, there goes the owl. The owl got the heck out of there. I don't think George was in that part of the carriage when that dragon bit down. Yeah. I think he fell yeah. out when they got split apart. Yeah. 
right there, this scene right here is when I knew this game was going to be a banger. I knew it. The key! Give me your hand! I feel Yep, right there. That's when I was like, oh, this game's going to be good. I put that much effort right? into an opening scene, then yeah. You're hurt. Perhaps All a bit. the little things that they did Take this. made me It's know. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Heal up. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... I don't think he what died. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Right, let me see if I can get the settings, because I'm thinking that the volume's a little loud. Even though I turned most of it down, I might have to go a little bit lower looking at the, the levels. So we'll go down to there, take the sound effects down to there, and the dialogue. We still want to be able to hear it over everything else, so about there. Uh, 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 uh. We're going to leave the subtitles on, and home cinema seems to be working, so we'll, we'll leave it. That wind, the waterfall sound. Man, I should have been playing with headphones How the whole time. How far did that port key take us? So good. Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she... And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure George died in that carriage. It did not Mind look like he step. was in there when the uh, dragons chomped down on it. Where do you it. suppose your wife got the port so if, key that brought us here? If he was able question. to survive the fall somehow... Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long we'll forgotten into form later. of ancient magic. Just a theory, I don't ancient know at this magic. point. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts I mean, Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. On the, I don't know where she came into possession of the port The key. one on the right leg, the but coat on the right leg isn't moving, but the one on the left search. is. And oh, then you go this way, the and then they're down both below. moving. This way. You go this way, and the left leg stops moving, and it's just the right leg. That's... That takes some work to make that happen. Work that most developers don't put in to but their sir, game. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. That's all it appears to be said. a sort of enchantment. 
Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Here we go. Boom. Excellent. Can't help but start messing around with the wand once you get it unlocked. It's like a, a natural thing than I'd expected. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, we'll sir. Push forward, though. Need to get where I start unlocking all my abilities and stuff, because uh, that's when the game really starts getting fun. Ah, up there. <sighs> Here, because I know there's a chest. Might as well take that gold. We're close now, it's just ahead. So, one thing I did notice with my Weasley characters, you saw I just got 57 gold there, right? Steady yourself! It seemed like every chest I got with the Weasley, Repairo! I got like 65 gold. Every every time I got it with uh, that is still loud. But every time I got a chest with another character, it was always in the 50s. But when I got it with the Weasleys, it was always in the 60s, and it just Almost doesn't there. make sense. All right, I'm gonna have to adjust this sound because it is way too loud. I just feel that I'm gonna be drowned. Drowned out from all this. Let's take this down to here. The dialogue doesn't seem bad, it's the sound effects. Hopefully, that's better. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Privacy? That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. You mean like all these broken vases? Breaking vases. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. So those are probably spells of sort? I don't know, but I'm guessing. Some kind of bird out the window on a tree, some stars in the sky. Seeing if I see anything else that seems uh, out of place or that could mean something. With that being broke right at the middle, it's kind of hard to know if the number of stars mean anything because there's probably more stars that are there that are broken and the stars that are over there are different than the ones that are over here if these ones are even stars at all and that one's not even doesn't even have gold in the middle of it so yeah I don't know I don't know if that means anything but we took a good look so let's professor on. this statue this may have been his home he's missing a hand hand around here. Too bad I don't have repair to do, uh, fix it up right now. If they do a new game plus, I wonder if you run through and you can actually change some things That up. enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? This whole ancient magic thing is interesting. What's this? Professor Fig! Comes, we're gonna see him running up. There he is. <laughs> You're in the room, Fig. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Here we go, Professor. What in Merlin's name? 
Roderick's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. You know, I haven't looked around in this room to see if there's anything you can do other than wake him up. I don't think there is. Won't let you go any further. I can't jump off. All right, we're waking him up. Hello? Sleeper. Not a light sleeper. Uh, 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 it can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Why, thank you. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. That's like the... Professor Figg's, like, famous line, stay close. I don't know how many times he says it, but he says it a lot. After you. Also, if you're wondering, I'm playing on an Xbox Series X. Keep your X. hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Volts are there in Green Courts. Hundreds. You also have in it fact, on you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number Twelve as we speak. Kind of We're just beneath the main lobby. Options. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Courts? I would have uh, they liked to have had a uncommon. balance option. Like Only one on with PC, great wealth or power, or well. both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. centuries. That is quite a long time. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Nice armband. I just noticed that there are no seatbelts on those chairs. And there's no handles to hold on to anything either. Uh, not exactly safe. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Now I'm going to give you a little tip here that I found by here playing. Here we are. And that there is a chest on the right. And if you don't get it before you go in the door, then you're not going to get it. I don't know if you ever can come when back When was the here. last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. 
In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Alright, so let's see how much I get out of this chest here. 41. So, yeah, I don't know if having Weasley as a last name helps or not, but it seemed to help. I might have what to do, do you some suppose more we should be looking for? That. I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you the might. The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> No good. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. You know, I'm not really sure how I feel about the spell learning thing. It's interesting, but I don't know if it's a door. necessary. Well, uh, that's a start. I guess. It's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. In we go. Lumos. Revelio. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. So I don't believe there are any chests in this area. I've used... Reveal in this area, if, like, every time Revelio. I've done it before. Revelio. Revelio. Rev Reveal, Revelio, whatever you I want see to something call. up it's ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. I think this is a pretty cool effect. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. And now I can cast light. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Look out! Protego! Accio! Descendo! 
Levioso. Combat in this game is a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Exposo. So, I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to feel about it, but. Levioso. Protego. Deposo. Stupid one. Decento. But I definitely do like the combat. So it's pretty fun. Confundo. Exposo. Protego. Levioso. Oh, come on, Professor. I need to let him hit me. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's it's happening? One. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, away from these chests that I want to get. Revelio! Lumos! Alright, now we'll follow you. Revelio. I think there's only one Lumos. more in here. At least that's all I've ever been able to find. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. 52. Revelio. One last look. Lumos. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Uh, Lumos. Maybe. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. That one just a touch early, and I got ready. Protego, stupid one. seen any chest up in here so we're just gonna run I think this is just the sprint tutorial I really like this effect on that right there how it kind of dissolves and it comes back as an art as an arch gateway it's pretty nice Nice. Thirty one. Fifty six. All right, here we go. Cutscene. There 
you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. Yeah, you just put stuff in the water and now you're gonna dunk your face in it. I don't know if I would follow your lead. I'd at least wait a few seconds to see if anything happened to you. Like a Raiders of the Lost Ark type of moment where his face melts away or something. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. So is that him taking out the memory and putting it into the basin? That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Right, knock and it you, off, Professor it seems. George is not dead. I are have the key to understanding alive. why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Ooh, look at those red eyes. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. He's got red men. No. know what that is about. Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. So I wonder if it's his armor that gives him the red magic, or if it's something else. I don't know. No way out! 
closer. Lights that last <laughs> second. Get oh. out. Get out of there, Moo. He's got that. It's like the port key, and then there. That last second, something's coming to eat you or fall on you, and then you're, Are you, you all make right? your escape. Fine, sir. I've never Jeez. seen so powerful a goblin. Man. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. It took me a while to realize what they were talking about when they said lock it. They're talking about that little vial that had the blue magic, ancient magic in it. They're calling that a locket, which I don't understand because I thought a locket was like a necklace type thing. But they're calling that a locket, so maybe there's multiple types of lockets? I don't know. But when they say locket, they're referring to that vial. I still think the game is way louder than me, but I'll have to adjust it after, after, after. So hopefully I'm not being too loud. I'm trying to raise my voice because I believe that the game is louder than me. Except for when it's quiet like this, and I just talk normal. But when it's loud, I I, I get louder. So hopefully I'm not oh, too good. loud in your ears. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can. But first, I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? The guy that plays the headmaster, I think it's, what, what's his name? Phineas Nigellus Black. The British Prepare comedian. yourself to meet the headmaster. I think his name's Simon Pig. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Yeah, his <clears> name <throat> is Simon. I'll be Blake. in touch. I just did a quick search. I remember the movies he's been in, but I didn't remember his name. I don't really follow actors and actresses that close. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Weasley. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. I don't know if there's a way to answer this to get in the Huff and Puff, Huff or Puff, whatever it's called. That's the one I need, so that's what we're going to go into. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I don't think this one... This one might matter, but it might be like two and one. Two for... Two houses for the first answer and two houses for the second answer. So would Huff and Puff be more exploratory or more study? I think they'd be more study. So we'll I'm looking there. forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. 
Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? I don't know. You're the one sensing it. Oh. We know daring is Gryffindor. We know ambition is slithering. So I'm going to go with curiosity. Well. No, we'll go with loyalty. A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff, that's what it is. I never really paid much attention to this house. But I got it. I got it. Yo, yo. I don't have to go out and back in. So Huff Hufflepuff house known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. We will accept. It's the one we wanted. It's the one we got. Better be Hufflepuff. They get the gold, okay. I don't mind that. No, Gryffindor is red. Slurry's oh, and green, one and more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last Ravenclaw spring's final, this year's blue. Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. He wasn't very clear as in the, like, clear out Quite people. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. I wasn't quite sure we'd get any Weasleys in this game, to be honest with you. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work. But I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap uh. the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Kind of interested to see which characters are in Hufflepuff. Because uh, I haven't done this one. All three of the other houses, when you come out into the common room, you have to go and talk to, like, three people in your common room. Looks so like I'm, everyone's gone. Better I'm head to the common room. I'm not going to worry about any kind of collectibles or anything at this point, because you kind of need your spells to get 
anything worthwhile so I'm just gonna work on going through the first section of the game to get some of the starter spells it looks like hobbit doors can I go into other ones garlic puts that venom I can what is this about so this is somebody's room Revelio. Yeah, all right, let's just head to the common room like I said. I just wanted to see if I could actually go in to all of these, but it looks like I can, so... Oh, no, it's the chest. I thought there was one of the me butterfly mirrors. I suppose some introductions are in order. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in the Ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Yeah, the characters you meet in this part are actually kind of interesting. So far, all of them have been pretty interesting. My parents visited the school mm. once. All I oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Yes, yes I was. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is alright with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Now, what is with this no ghost over Raven here? So Revelio. Having control All right, where's the third one? There's always a third. One. <gasps> Arthur's got you. You don't need it's to be right. frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No. One of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first year's caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. 
Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle, and as soon as the puff scheme that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> yeah, I think anything that stuck its tongue up my nose would go back to the shop too. Nice meeting you, Arthur, and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. That is my call to go see the professor, but we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And when we come back, we will get on with our first day and have a couple classes and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys come back for that. Until then, take care. Bye-bye now. Static buzz. Oh, that cat is meowing really loud up in here. Sounds like it's saying, ow.